is a new video segment that I'm going to do where I analyse the characters of a popular anime. Today's character is Future Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, who's one of my favourite characters. Here's Trunks' history. The first Trunks, or Future Trunks as also known, was introduced in the Dragon Ball series. He's wields a sword and wears a capsule cloth. Operation Jacket, trained by the alternative timeline with Gohan. Future Trunk travels through time to seek help from Goku to prevent the Red Ribbon Han droids from ravaging the world, like they did in his dark future. Future Trunk is a loyal and compromising warrior and can be slightly cocky at times. He interrogated his mentor's do or die attitude as well as his father's brash confidence. Future Trunks was born in age 766 and is also from an alternative timeline in which the Earth is continually terrorised by the evil Future Android 17 and Future Android 18. By the time we were introduced to the pair of the androids, over three-fourths of the world's population have been limited due to their spree of destruction. In this future, Future Gohan and Future Trunks are weaker versions of themselves who have the training of the experienced Z fighters later on. In this timeline, Future Goku dies of a heart attack six months before the androids arrive, leaving the Z Fighters as one of their greatest heroes. His father, Future Vegeta, and all the other Z Fighters, except Future Goku, were killed, and with the androids easily outclassing them in power since they were both built to be more powerful than Future Goku at one point. Future Trunks met Tapion, or possibly his future timeline counterpart, after the latter sealed after Hero Dragon or possibly a future timeline counterpart, and Tapion gave his sword to Future Trunks. Over the course of the next 13 years, Future Gohan becomes Future Trunks' mentor and trains him in the everything he knows, also teaching him swordsmanship. Future Gohan tries his best to teach Future Trunks how to become Super Saiyan as well, necessarily for him to compete against the androids might, however, with everyone already dead and having not yet a full certain level of sadness and sorrow, Future Trunks simply cannot feel the motivation needed to transform. Trunks' three transformations in the manga and anime. In the manga, Future Trunks is already able to achieve Super Saiyan when shown training his mentor, Future Gohan, making it somewhat likely he simply isn't able to transform naturally, as his present timeline self did. He however struggles with even Future Gohan's base stat in the form, which may suggest that it is rather recently reached due to its meager power despite his harsh training. In the TV special, The History of Trunks, Future Trunks transforms for the first time after seeing his mentor Future Gohan killed the hands of the androids in his timeline. The energy involved in the transformation caused Future Trunks' hair to stand out and end and turn golden colour. His facial expression is sharpened and the colour of his eyes turn a bright emerald green. When the state Trunks' power level increased dramatically, even so he always maintains his sincere, serious demeanour. His second transformation is Grade Super Saiyan. After their defeat at the hands of Android 17 and Android 18, he and Vegeta underwent severe training in the hyperbolic time chamber, during which Trunks gained the ability to take this form. When taking this form, Future Trunks' muscles swell, making his body several times larger than normal, and his power and speed are elevated beyond his previous Super Saiyan limits. He first used this form to defeat against Semi Perfect Cell in an attempt to keep him from absorbing Android 18 and reaching his completion. The fight scene only happened in a filler part of the anime, while in the manga he was about to fight Semi Perfect Cell but was knocked away by Vegeta. And when he struck Vegeta with his energy blast to repel him away in surprise, but was blinded by Cell's solar flare and was forced to see Cell complete himself inside a barrier when his vision returned. After witnessing Vegeta's defeat at Perfect Cell's hand, he transformed to Super Saiyan Grade 3, but lost due to his severe speed decrease as a result. Trunks has entered the hyperbolic time capsule a second time to focus on increasing his strength as a regular Super Saiyan to its highest possible point. His third grade, as I mentioned, Super Saiyan, is known as Super Trunks while in this state. It is another form he gained while training the hyperbolic time chamber, and he utilises this state while fighting the recently completed perfect cell. In this form, Future Trunks' muscles swell even larger than in his second grand Super Saiyan. His hair gets spikier and larger, and his power grows immensely in this stage. However, the heavily increased muscle mass comes at a cost of reducing speed and mobility, and because of the massive energy required to maintain this form, it is not sustainable for long periods of time, which ultimately puts him in a life-threatening disadvantage. And now it's time for some trivia. Like nearly everyone in this family and the Dragon Ball Z universe, Future Trunks' name is a pun on an undergarment, his name is a pun on boxes. Angelia's hair from Dragon Quest VIII 
or eight. Strongly resembles Future Trunks' base form with shorter hair. Akira Toriyama was the art director for Dragon Quest games, so it's highly possible he based his designs on Trunks. The Yu-Gi-Oh card character Tyler the Great Warrior seems to be based on Future Trunks' Super Saiyan mode, as it resembles him a lot with the yellow spiky hair and the sword. In the character illustrations section of the Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi series, it is stated that Future Trunks had chained his sword from Tapion, although this is contradicting every other official source which has discussed its origin. Not to mention in Budokai 2 and 3, if Trunks and Tapion fight, they clearly recognise each other. Trunks even says, Long time no see. And that was the anime character analysis of Trunks.